Here's how urgent the problem is in Manitoba. Every single non-emergency cardiac surgery scheduled in Winnipeg this week is now on hold to make room in the ICU for COVID patients. It's unequivocal, it is clear, and it's undisputable that people are dying on the cardiac surgical wait list. There has to be accountability. It is no longer okay to say this is an unintended consequence of COVID. And it's not just heart surgery. 80-year-old Robert Lamont has been waiting two years for his second hip replacement. I feel as though I could go into a really deep depression. I'm fed up with it. It's not a... There's no hope in this horizon at all. The retired Manitoba farmer is used to being active, but now his wife Hazel says he can't even play with their six young grandchildren. It's gotten slower and slower and slower and because he's in pain. The Canadian Medical Association says nationally surgical backlogs could get even worse when the fourth wave is factored in. Its president wants action now that tinkering around the corners of a system that's not functioning is not going to solve the issues. This is no time for cuts. During the federal election campaign, the Liberals promised a $6 billion investment to help provincial health systems eliminate wait lists. Manitoba says it's already put money towards the problem. We already committed $50 million to address the backlogs this year. The Premier is expected to announce a task force this week to set a path for clearing surgical and diagnostic backlogs and to enhance our ICU capacity. Robert Lamont has been told he may get surgery in the spring. Until then, he holds on to this dream. Walking down and sitting on the bench and watch the river flow by. <laughs> Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.